If you install roll-up sides, you absolutely must do something to prevent it from blowing around in the wind. We're going to show you exactly how to do that with anti-billow roping. This works for the majority of small or large greenhouses and is often a roll-up side's first line of defense against wind. We're going to show you what hardware to use, what rope pattern to follow, and make sure you stick around till the end because I'm going to show you the exact knots I use at the start and the end of every run I install. We're going to be using easy snap hooks, bolts, and lock nuts as our hardware. When these are used with quarter inch diameter polyester rope, you can create really good wind protection. If you want to pick any of this up, I'll have links in the description. You'll need a drill with a quarter inch drill bit, an impact driver with a 7 16 inch deep well socket, a crescent wrench. If you don't have an impact driver, you can get away with the socket wrench. Just make sure you have that 7 16 inch deep well socket. Here's the pattern. I go down first in a straight line near the end and then zigzag up and down at each bow. I always start and end with a straight vertical rope line. We're going to start by prepping the hip rail to receive the hardware. We're not putting the hardware on yet, we're just prepping it. If your hip rail is double channel, easy snap hooks do not go in the top run of double channel. They go in the bottom run of double channel. They press right over the wire and plastic and pressure holds them in place. You can take their attachment further though by adding a bolt and a nut to hold them to the double channel. That's what we're going to show you how to prep now and to do that you have to do this before the plastic is installed. If I put the holes in place now before I put the plastic on, when it's time to install these, all I'll have to do is take a little screwdriver and poke a small hole in the plastic and bolt these on. Referencing our rope pattern, this is where we're going to be pre-drilling for these easy snap hooks. Use one of the snap hooks as a guide, mark it if you need additional guidance, and use a quarter inch drill bit to drill right through the channel. You can now remove the easy snap hook you're using as a guide and repeat the process all the way down your structure on both sides. We won't do any more anti-billow steps on the hip rail until the plastic's in place. We do have to get these installed on the baseboard though. To do that, let's reference our pattern. And we can see here where the red circles are, that's where we have to install our easy snap hooks on our baseboard. Use this snap hook as a guide, always spot it about three inches away from a bow, make a mark on your baseboard, drill through with a quarter inch drill bit, push a hex head bolt through the easy snap hook, Put the easy snap hook and bolt through your baseboard. Thumb tighten the lock nut on the bolt threads. Grab the lock nut with a crescent wrench. Tighten bolt head with a 7 16 inch deep well socket. Tap the easy snap hook if required so it's pointing straight up. Repeat this wherever you need easy snap hooks on your baseboard, through the full length of the structure, and on both sides. You are now done preparing for your anti-billow rope system until the plastic is installed and your roll-up sides are done. If you need help installing top cover plastic or roll-up sides, we have some great videos to help you do that, so you should definitely check those out. With your plastic on and sides done, it's time to put the easy snap hooks into your hip rail. Remember, we prepared your hip rail earlier by drilling holes. Line your snap hook up with a hole in your hip rail. You'll push in the bolt from the X interior. It might take a little twisting to get it in. Have someone on the interior hold the lock nut with the crescent wrench. Tighten with a 7 16 inch deep well socket from the exterior. No need to over tighten, just give it a tug to make sure it's snug. Repeat this process wherever you pre-drilled holes on your double channel hip rail. Now that all snap hooks are in place, we can now zigzag our rope up and down the full length of the tunnel. You'll start at a hip rail and start at the end closest to your roll up side operators. If you're wondering what this other easy snap hook is in my hip rail, don't worry about it. That's actually used to hold up our roll up side operator, which is just a handle in this instance. We'll have a separate video on that, but right now let's focus on starting this knot for this beginning of our anti-billow rope system. Lay out your rope, loop one of its ends into the easy snap hook, leave about two feet of excess. Grab the main part of the rope in one hand and then the excess rope in the other hand. Loop the excess rope around the main part of the rope three times as shown. Here you can see all three loops, one, two, three. Grab the dangling excess rope and pull it up around those loops and back down through them. Keep holding the main rope in your one hand and pull on the excess rope while holding the main rope tightly. You now have a strong starting knot for your anti-billow rope system. We can now put pressure on the main part of the rope down to the easy snap hook below it. And we're going to go up and down in a zigzag motion and the rope will be able to pop right onto the easy snap hooks as you work your way down. And here we are, we're keeping pressure on that rope as we go so it stays tight. When we get to the end and loop on to the easy snap hook that's on the baseboard there, this is where we're going to begin our last knot. So here's that ending knot. You're going to allow the remaining portion of rope to dangle off the end like this. Grabbing the top portion of the rope with one hand, use your other hand to pinch the two pieces of rope together about six inches south of where your other hand is holding it. Loop the rope around your fingers, go underneath the loop you made, and pull it right back up through that loop. You've now made a loop in the middle of this run of anti-billow rope. Push the rope through the final easy snap hook in your hip rail, 
and then bring it back down toward the loop you just made. Thread it through and you can now pull on the excess rope to make your rope tighter. You can now give it a couple of tugs. Uh, you don't want to make it too tight, but you do want to make it so your roll up side doesn't flop around in the wind. Keeping tension on that remaining excess, note that there's about an inch or two between the top of the loop and the bottom of the hand that's holding the excess. That space is where the excess amount of rope will wrap around to tie a knot to itself. I'm literally just creating a knot above the top part of that loop, as you can see here. So now I'm going to keep tension on the top part of that loop with my left hand and pull that knot down towards it. And then above that, I'm gonna make another knot, as you can see I'm doing here. And so I'm basically doing a double knot right here, right above that loop, and I tighten it up. Then for, for good measure, I do a third one. Do you need that? Probably not, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I have a lot of excess rope here. So I've made a triple knot. Once you do that, you can take that excess and trim it off. And you're gonna repeat that process on the other side of your structure, running the anti-billow rope and tying the last knot, just as I just showed you. If you need any easy snap hooks or rope to complete your anti-billow rope system, I'll have links in the description for where you can find them. If you found this video helpful or you like watching videos on season extension structures that might save you time and effort, consider subscribing to our channel. And thanks for watching.